Okay. 2P shaft, my input, and my worm shaft. We already talked about how it's pinned by the torsion bar. Torsion bar is actually a, a spring steel. So you can see this is my two shafts. This is one shaft here, and of course my worm shaft. When the driver activates the steering wheel, and what happens is here is as I turn my steering wheel, he'll turn the input. And of course, as the input turns, it will turn the worm shaft, and the worm shaft will cause the balls to rotate. As long as I don't have excessive friction or traction between my steer tires, this is just a manual steering gear. But what will actually happen is as I get uh, a back feed or uh, a restriction or lack of movement, I can actually cause the torsion bar to twist. What I want you to notice here, as I force the steering wheel, notice the torsion bar is actually twisting over. And as it twists over, it's actually opening the control valve. But notice, as soon as I let go, it returns back to the center position. Same thing in the other direction. It now would give me the hydraulic assist in the other direction. When I let go, it returns back to the center position. So the torsion bar is what activates the rotary control valve. That being said, remember we talked a little bit about road feel. All the road feel, which is that back feed from the steer tires comes up, all has to travel through that torsion bar.